I have started the presentation. So whether you people are able to see my Visual Studio code as a full screen. Yes, okay. Fine. <laughs> so yesterday we started with uh, infix to postfix conversion. And uh, before that, we have also seen that uh, what do you mean by Polish notations? What are the different forms of Polish notations? So we have studied infix, postfix, and prefix. Uh, infix notation is a notation in which your operator is placed in between the operands. Postfix is a notation in which the operators are placed after the operands. And prefix, the operators are placed before the operands. Okay? So you need to only remember this infix in between. Postfix, post means after. So after the operands. Prefix, pre means before. So before the operands. Okay? Then we have seen the algorithm for the converting the given infix expression to a postfix expression so we were solving one example let's uh, continue with that example so this is the example a given infix string in this capital a and then the value of the infix string is a plus b into c so when we convert this infix into a postfix using the algorithm how we'll get the output that we need to see so the step one <coughs> Now, this step one is not a step one of the algorithm. Please be careful. This step one is not, an, not a step one of the algorithm. The algorithm steps are different, and the way I'm writing here, step one, step two, step three, they are different. Here, step one simply means reading the first character or the first symbol. Step two, reading the second symbol. Step three, reading the third symbol, and so on. Okay? So please do not uh, get confused with this step one of the algorithm step one. Algorithm steps are different. So what does the algorithm say? The algorithm says that we need to start scanning the given infix expression from left to right. We need to start scanning the given infix expression from left to right. So from left to right, what we can see A plus B into C. So this is our infix expression, okay? So when we start scanning the infix expression from left to right, the first symbol that we encounter is this A, small a. So that becomes our step one, okay? Reading the first symbol. So this small a is encountered. What is a? A is an operand, okay? And then the algorithm says that when an operand is encountered, we need to simply put that encounter, uh, encountered operand or we need to simply add that operand to b what is b b is a postfix expression equivalent postfix expression so we'll be simply adding a to b now at this point of time our stack is empty so there is nothing in my stack okay stack is empty this is an application of stack so our stack is empty this is step one and then i go for the step two Step two is simply reading the next character. So after A, what is encountered? Plus. When we read the string, infix string, so plus is encountered. This I can write here. What to do when an operator is encountered? The algorithm says that when an operator is encountered, in that we have two steps. When an operator is encountered, the first step is uh, the first step says that repeatedly pop from the top of stack an operator which has precedence same or higher than the precedence of the encountered operator. Okay, so plus is an encountered operator. I need to compare the precedence. Precedence is nothing but priority. Precedence is priority. So we need to compare the priority of this plus with the operator on the top of stack so do we have anything onto the stack we do not have anything onto the stack okay so the, the first the first step condition fails okay because we do not have anything onto the stack to compare what is the second step into that push the encountered operator onto the stack 
push the encountered operator onto the stack. So this B remains same. There is no change in this B. It still has only A. And then into my stack, what I have? We have plus. Okay. Plus is there in our stack now. Okay. So this is done. Now step three. We keep scanning. So we have scanned A, we have scanned plus, and now when we scan, so we encounter B. Okay. So this symbol B is encountered. What is B? B is an operand. So what we'll be doing when an operand is encountered, add it to B. That's all. So B equals to, we already had A, and then after A, this B will be added, so it becomes AB. The content of the stack remains same, no change. The next step, step four. We read the next symbol. Next symbol is star. This next symbol is star. Okay. So star is encountered. What to do? When an operator is encountered, in that you have two steps. The first step is repeatedly pour from the top of stack an operator which has similar or higher precedence than the encountered operator. So we'll be comparing the precedence or the priority of this operator with the precedence of plus. So whether plus is having similar or higher precedence than star, no. Plus do not have similar or higher precedence than star. Plus have lower precedence. I repeat, plus has lower precedence. Okay. Now let me write it here that uh, what are the precedences of the operator. Uh, due, then uh, dollar, and then star. They have same and highest precedence. Next is plus and minus. They have same but precedence lower than slash, due, and star. And even you can have one more operator called cap. That is also used to indicate uh, power. Okay. That's all. And then uh, I can simply say that uh, this uh, opening uh, lowest precedence. Okay. So here I can say highest precedence. Second highest, you can say, but lower than slash star dollar and cap. And then here I can say low. Okay. So this is how you can remember the precedences or the priorities of the operator. So now we can see that uh, plus is having, if you see here, plus is having lower precedence than multiplication okay so since it is having lower precedence this will not be popped out i repeat this will not be popped out okay and then the condition also fails so we go to the second step and uh, the next step of that is what push the encountered operator on the stack so this b remains same as it is and then into our stack, what do we have? Plus was already there. And then on top of plus, we have star. I'm just putting comma as a separator. So whatever is coming at the end, this is on top of our stack. That's our step four. And then uh, our step five, we read the next symbol. And the next symbol is this C. Okay. So I can simply say C is encountered.
what is C? C then open end. So what do we need to do? A very simple step, add it to B. So we already had A, B in B. Then we'll be adding C. So C comes here. So it becomes A, B, C. The content of the stack remains same. Stack equals Expression is completed. The string is exhausted. The moment your string gets exhausted, the moment your string gets completed, then your algorithm is done. Okay? So there is no step six over here. Okay? So what I can say that the number of steps in a conversion equals to the number of symbols in your infix expression. So here we have five symbols total. So we have five steps in this conversion. What do we need to do after this? The moment your infix expression is exhausted, you need to simply start popping from stack and add it to B. Start popping from stack and add to B till your stack is empty. Jab tak ke aapki stack empty nahi ho jati, tab tak ke aapko stack mein pop karte rehna hai aur B mein add karte rehna hai. So now, what we get? Start. Popping from stack and add to B till the stack gets empty. Okay. So what we'll be getting B equals A B C. So when you pop your stack, star is on top of stack star will come out first okay so star comes first star will be added first into b and then the next is plus plus will come out next so plus will be added next after that your stack becomes empty no need to pop anything and now whatever you have into b is the equivalent postfix expression of the given infix expression i repeat Whatever you have into B is the equivalent postfix expression of the given infix expression. So my given infix expression was A plus B into C, A plus B into C, and the equivalent postfix expression for that is A, B, C star plus, A, B, C star plus, okay? So this is how your conversion of infix to postfix shall work, okay? Now suppose... This is my second example. The given infix expression A is A into B minus C. Okay. Can you solve this? Can you solve this fast? This is quite simple. We have only one change as compared to the First example. Yes, please, can you solve? Can you let me know what is the equivalent postfix expression of this given infix expression A into B minus C? Uh, someone is saying ABC star minus. Please solve it carefully. Okay, what should be the first step? A is encountered. Okay, so I simply copy my first step from here. A is encountered, A will be added to B, and your stack is empty. And uh, your second step. Now in the second step, not plus, but star is encountered and into my stack, I get star, okay? And then my third step. Third step is same. This is my third symbol, B, B is encountered, B will be copied into capital B. 
and then our fourth step control c control v now the fourth step in the fourth step we encounter minus okay so this is not star this is minus what happens the moment minus is encountered the precedence of the operator on the top of stack is compared with this operator sorry we have here star so the precedence of the operator on the top of stack is compared with the precedence of this encountered operator if the precedence of the operator on the top of stack is higher or similar to the precedence of the encountered operator then that operator would be popped and it would be added to v so whether star is having higher precedence or similar precedence to minus yes star is having higher precedence so star will be popped and it will be added to b so here we get a b star okay then do we have anything after popping star do we have anything in the stack we do not have anything when we pop star so there is nothing to be compared so this minus will be pushed onto the stack and here we have minus okay then the last step step 5 C is encountered, and C would be added to B. So we have A B star C, and in our stack we have only minus. Okay. So that was our last step, and then the common thing. Start popping from the top of stack, whatever is there, and keep on adding to B. B was A B star C. and then when we pop the stack we get minus and after minus there is nothing onto the stack so this is your final postfix expression a b star c minus a b star c minus okay so this way you can solve the example now these are very simple and basic examples now a bigger example could be something like this which generally comes into your examination so it can be like uh, you know given in quick expression is uh, and most often the expressions are given in uh, the symbols of the expression are given in capital letter so that doesn't matter whether it's capital or small so your given in fix expression can be a into b Plus c uh, divided by in bracket a minus b, okay, and then uh, into d, and then your bracket close for example, and then uh, say dollar, which is also equivalent to cap dollar uh, a a plus c into d. something like that so little bigger along with this opening and uh, closing parenthesis okay so this kind of uh, expression generally do comes into the examination so you need to uh, solve or you need to practice uh, this much big example and it's not a big deal you need to simply follow the algorithm and as you follow the algorithm as you complete all the steps you automatically gets the converted postfix expression but you should follow the algorithm properly and then uh, the only little critical step in the algorithm is when you encounter an operator okay so if you handle that uh, step properly so it's not at all a big deal because whenever you encounter an operator you need to simply add it to b whenever you encounter a left para you need to push it onto the stack whenever you encounter a right para then uh, repeatedly pop from stack and add to b till you uh, pop a left para and don't add left para to b theek okay? uh, hai so all steps are simple only the step where you need to take little extra care is your operator step so when you encounter an operator repeatedly pop from the top of stack an operator which has similar or higher precedence than the encountered the operator theek okay? hai and this you need to do repeatedly not only for single operator this you need to do repeatedly so when we follow the steps like this we can easily come out with the 
solution for this. Okay. So in the step one, uh, please uh, keep solving along with me. Please keep solving this example along with me. And uh, let's see uh, uh, what output we get. So in the step one, uh, A is encountered. A is encountered. So we'll put A into B. It's an open and the content of stack is nothing. Stack is still empty. Okay. We start with an empty stack. Step two, star is encountered. Sorry. Star is encountered. B remains same. Uh, no. Uh, when a operator is encountered, the first step is compare the precedence of this operator with the precedence on the top of stack. Since there is nothing on the stack, so we won't be comparing anything. We will be simply pushing this operator onto the stack. So the content of B remains same. And now our stack has this operator. Okay, that is your star operator. Then my step three, uh, B is encountered. Please keep solving along with me. Please keep solving. B is an operand. So we simply add it to B. So this becomes AB. Stack content remains same. That is star. Step four. Sorry. In step four, plus is encountered. Now here you need to be careful. The moment we encounter an operator. Okay. What we need to do? Compare the precedence of the operator on the top of stack with the precedence of the encountered operator. Okay. Always remember, stack ke jo top pe operator hai, if that operator is having similar or higher precedence, then that operator should be popped and copied or added to B. Okay. Now star is having a precedence which is higher than the precedence of this encountered operator. So the condition is true. And when the condition is true, we'll be popping this operator and copying it to B. Okay. So this B becomes A, B star. Okay. And then if there anything remains in stack to compare, no. Now the stack is empty. star go pop kia. Now the stack is empty. There's nothing remains in the stack. So we'll simply push the encountered operator into the stack. So now in stack, you have only one operator that is plus. Then my next step, step five. And uh, in step five, we encounter what? C. Okay. Please keep solving. C is an operand, simply add it to B. Earlier we had A, B, star into B. Now after star, C will come. So A, B, C, A, B, star, C. Stack remains unchanged. So into my stack I have <coughs> plus. Step six, after C, the symbol is slash. Okay, or div. <coughs> so div is encountered. What is div? It is an operator. So whenever an operator is com uh, encountered, compare the precedence of the operator on the top of stack with the precedence of the encountered operator. If the operator on the top of stack is having similar or higher precedence than the encountered operator, then pop that operator. So whether plus is having similar or higher precedence than div, Yes, please answer into the chat box whether plus is having similar or higher precedence than div. No, it is having lower precedence. So the condition is false. The moment condition is false, we will not pop anything. Okay, we will not pop anything. So what is the next step in that? Push the encounter operator onto the stack. So this a b uh, your b remains same and in the stack we had plus 
and now slash or div will also be pushed so now plus comma div div is on the top of my stack then step 7 the next symbol we need to read slash ke baad mein kya aaya left para okay so i say left para is encountered when a left para is encountered the step is too simple we need to simply push it onto the stack that's all so whatever is the content of stack on to that will be pushing this left para so after slash we have this left para and left para is on the top of my stack okay then step 8 after left para we have a okay so a is encountered step 8 a is encountered a is an open simply add it to b b ke andar jo bhi hai a b star c a okay and then the content of the stack would remain same then my step 9 sorry step 9 in step 9 after a what we have minus okay so i would say minus is and counter again it is a operator what do you need to do compare the residence of this operator with the residence of the operator on the top of stack now on the top of stack you have left para and as i said you earlier left para is having the lowest residence left para this one is having the lowest residence theek okay? hai so in this case <coughs> since the left para is having the lowest residence it is not having residence similar or higher than the encountered operator so no popping would be done instead this minus would uh, would be pushed onto the stack so the content of b remain same ab star ca and then into a stack on top of the stack will be pushing minus okay then step 10 after minus you have b b is encountered so b is a symbol oh, sorry b is an operand and when an operand is encountered we know what to do simply <coughs> simply add it to this postfix expression so what we have we already had a b star c a and then after a we get b okay and then the content of our stack remains same no change into that then my step 11 and then step 11 after b what we read uh after b we read star okay so star is encountered star is encountered what to do compare the precedence of this operator with the precedence on the top of stack on the top of stack we have minus now whether the precedence of the minus is similar or higher than the precedence of star no it is having precedence lower than the precedence of star so this will not be popped instead this star will be pushed okay star will be pushed so this b remain same b remain same 
and then on the top of stack now we have star okay then my step 12 after star we have d so d then countered what to do it's an op land so simply add it to b earlier we had a b star c a b and now d will be added the content of the stack remains same there is no change then step 13 number of steps equals to number of symbols in the given in fixed expression after d we encounter closing parenthesis or right parenthesis okay what to do when a right parenthesis is encountered you need to simply push uh, you need to simply keep on popping and adding to b till you pop left pen theek hai to hum yahan par stack ko pop karna shuru karenge पहले हम बी का जो कंटेंट है लिख के ले लेते इट इज ए बी स्टार सी ए बी डी आफ्टर दैट वी स्टार्ट पॉपिंग द स्टैक व्हेन वी पॉप द स्टैक व्हाट वी गेट स्टार सो स्टार वुड कम हियर देन वी अगेन पॉप व्हाट वी गेट माइनस ओके देन द माइनस वुड बी एडेड हियर देन वी पॉप व्हाट वी गेट लेफ्ट फेदर नाउ डू वी नीड टू एड लेफ्ट फेदर नो लेफ्ट फेदर शुड नॉट बी added okay so now what remains in the stack so in our stack we have plus then slash only these two operator okay because left feather was in the pop but it was not copied to b then my step 14 what we read after right parenthesis we read dollar so dollar is encountered dollar is a raised to operator you can say power to for example uh, 2 raised to 2 so we'll be writing 2 dollar 2 okay a raised to b so we'll be writing a dollar b so dollar is an operator what we need to do compare the operator on the top of stack with this operator precedence of the operator on the top of stack so slash is having a precedence which is similar to the precedence of dollar okay so we'll pop slash we'll pop slash or you can say the operator and that will be added to b c a b b star minus pop d operator and add it to b रिपीटेडली हाँ रिपीटेडली करना है तो आपने अभी स्लैश को पॉप किया डीयू को पॉप किया और एड किया फिर इसके बाद आपको प्लस की भी प्रेसिडेंस को कंपेयर करना इसकी प्रेसिडेंस से वेदर द प्रेसिडेंस ऑफ प्लस ऑपरेटर इज सिमिलर और हायर देन द प्रेसिडेंस ऑफ दिस डॉलर ऑपरेटर नो द प्रेसिडेंस ऑफ प्लस इज लोअर देन द प्रेसिडेंस ऑफ डॉलर तो इन दिस केस विल नॉट पॉप विल नॉट पॉप एनी थिंग एंड इंस्टेड विल कीप प्लस in stack itself and then we'll push this encountered operator on the top of stack so dollar comes here okay then step 15 after dollar what we have after dollar you have a a is encountered control c a is encountered a is an operand so what i need to do i need to simply copy it to b in the given op plan okay so after slash i have a the content of stack remain same no change into that and then my step 16 what is the next step what do we read we read plus okay so plus is encountered or plus is scanned plus is and counter theek okay? hai plus is an operator so compare the precedence of the operator on the top of stack with the 
encounter operator precedence so whether the precedence of the operator on the top of stack is similar or higher than the precedence of encounter operator yes the condition is true so this will be popped and it will be added to b so dollar will be popped and it will be added to b okay they said dollar pop hua then we'll compare the next operator on the stack the next operator is plus dollar has been popped so compare the precedence of plus with this plus both are same operators so precedence also same so condition is true so pop plus also so plus will be popped and it will be added to b after that if there remains anything there is nothing in the stack our stack is empty so there is nothing to be compared so this plus now this plus will be pushed onto the stack okay so what we have in the stack we have only one operator that is plus and then step 17 a plus c c then counted so c then opened what do you need to do simply add it to b so whatever is the content of b into that we'll add c okay stack would remain same no change on to the stack and then my next step step number 18 and then after see what we have a c then star so star is then countered star is then countered star is an operator what do you need to do compare the precedence of the operator on the top of stack with the precedence of the encounter operator so whether plus is having similar or higher precedence than star no condition is false condition is false plus will not be popped from the stack and then will be pushing the encountered operator onto the stack so after plus we get star sorry after plus we have star so star comes on the top of stack and then my step 19 what is there after star you have d okay so d is encountered d is encountered what is d it is an operand so you need to simply copy it to b no change on to the stack so after c you get b okay and then if there remains anything into the infix expression after d no there is nothing in the infix expression after d okay d ke baad mein kuch bhi nahi hai so we have only this many symbols you can count the symbols and then you can check with the number of steps so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 total so, well, 19 symbols are there and so we had 19 steps okay after this 19 steps what you will be doing all characters all symbols are scanned your infix expression is exhausted so whatever is there onto the stack pop it and copy to b so pehle star pop hoga star will be copied to b and then plus will be copied to b and then finally what you will be getting after d star and then plus okay control s so this is my converted in the postfix expression of the given infix expression okay so this is how we will be converting the given infix expression into the postfix expression okay please check your answer with this if you have any issue any problem then let me know or else we can proceed this solution is important khali aapko lag raha hai ki it's lengthy 19 steps are there but all those steps are very simple and this kind of questions do come in the examination i repeat this kind of questions do come in the examination you are given a string and you need to convert the given infix string into a equivalent postfix string okay if you have also solved then please compare your answer with this 
and let me know whether you are getting the same answer or not. Sir, div ki precedency dollar se equal hai ki higher hai? Equal. Equal hai. Equal bhi agar hai to condition true ho jayenge. What is the condition? If the operator on the top of stack is having similar or higher precedence than the uh, encountered operator. ठीक है तो अब ड्यू और डॉलर ये दोनों अगर एक साथ में कंपेयर होने के लिए आते हैं तो बोथ आर हैविंग द सेम प्रेसिडेंस सो इन दैट केस द कंडीशन इज ट्रू सो व्हाटएवर इज देयर ऑन टू द स्टैक दैट विल बी पॉप्ड एंड कॉपीड टू बी बट दिस डॉलर इज हैविंग हायर प्रेसिडेंस देन प्लस एंड माइनस ओके डॉलर कैप ड्यू multiplication all these are having same precedence and higher precedence then plus and minus plus and minus are having same precedence but lower precedence than dollar due uh, cap and uh, star is that clear yes sir uh, this solution is important please solve it please solve it because uh, this is not only important from concept point of view this is also important from exam point of view in the exam also we do encounter this kind of questions as a type ke question aate hi hai and the best way is to solve it in this simple way step by step step by step otherwise people do solve it in a tabular manner log a tabular format mein bhi isko solve karte hain but uh, i would recommend that uh, you solve it in this way so there is a less chance of making a mistake and even if the example comes of any length of any size you can easily solve it if you follow this simple step so what i was saying that in the examination generally the questions comes like this that your given in fixed expression is given like this all your symbols all your operands are uh, capital that's all and nothing else so it would be something like this they are one and the same i repeat they are one and the same ali capital mein likha hai to aapka answer bhi aapko capital mein likhna hai pura solution jo hai wohi capital mein karna hai that's all at times even a number may come by for example instead of uh, a b c d they may give you number okay so this question could be like uh, if the value of uh, a b c d for example a b c d is 1 2 3 4 so it can be 1 into 2 plus 3 divided by in bracket 1 minus 2 into 4 dollar 1 Plus three into four is the values of A, B, C, D are one, two, three, four. Okay, so these are the different possibilities of uh, question that may come to you, and uh, all symbols can be smaller case, all symbols can be capital case, or uh, the operands may have values. So a uh, values can also be given like this. or the operands can be capital case or small case one and the same thing it doesn't makes any difference in the solution part the algorithm remains same you need to follow the steps uh, as it is explained the algorithm would remain same not not um, not even a very uh, smallest change into the algorithm it would remain same kali aapko thoda question ko dekh ke confuse nahi hona hai you did not have to get confused you need to treat them as operand only whether it is capital whether it's small or whether it's a number so it's an operand and when an operand is encountered the step is simplest step you need to simply add it to b or you need to simply add it to the postfix expression that's all is it clear koi lagging nahi thi na screen mein it was all visible properly yes okay thank you
uh, now the time is up so tomorrow we'll see the implementation of uh, infix to postfix conversion or we'll see a program how to convert the given infix to postfix meanwhile i would be requesting you please solve few example and you can take up any example so these are not the examples which are from any book i have just taken them up so you can take up any example koi bhi aap arithmetic expression lo infix expression lo and convert it into a postfix okay if you know the algorithm properly then only you will understand the implementation if you do not know the algorithm you cannot understand the implementation keep the, uh, keep that thing in your mind very clearly if you do not know the implementation you won't be able to solve the problem or you won't be able to implement it okay i am sharing a attendance link please see your chat box follow the attendance link give your attendance and uh, then you people can leave and uh, whoever gets this recording please share the recording with me and siddhi ki altamash siddhi ki altamash you will be getting this recording in your google drive so please make me editor please share the video file with me